the thing with this article is it makes people uncomfortable and it is divisive in its nature but of course you know anything in any newspaper I mean people will especially go at the Daily Mail and quite rightly so um, you know they are major offenders often often um, sort of reaches a point with the Daily Mail where you don't really or the Mail Online Daily Mail whatever you don't really need to call it out anymore because kind of everyone knows anyway even the people that read it I think no oh, I know what you're doing but it's entertaining I suppose you know whereas other news outlets uh, try to sort of uh, play off as being the good guys the male online know what they are they know what they are you know it doesn't need to be called out as much it's just they do get a hell of a lot of traffic so then again it really does need to be called out I suppose the thing is with this this what fascinates me about this whole thing is there's this weird uncomfortable union between different groups um, there's certain people who are progressive types who um, have built this uneasy union. Uh, you know, we, we we stand for the LGBTQ plus whatever community, you know, and we stand for the Muslim community. Whereas the Muslim community, I mean, if you so you got a woman in a niqab in a niqab, um, shouting shame on you, despicable people, that, you know, going on a homophobic rant. Okay, this, this kind of woman. And um, you know, many elements of Islam are very conservative. You know, it's a religion, right? By definition, you know, um, I, I suppose you know, Christianity, Islam, to a certain extent, Judaism, um, are very conservative religions. They're conservative by their in their nature. So it's a weird. It's a weird. Um, it's a weird union to have, um, and obviously it's it's used. They, just, it's like they just want to partner up with every minority they can, you know. Uh, the left side is like, well, we champion, you know. They get, want to get as many votes and as many people back in them as they can. They're vultures, they're vultures basically. And the thing is, you you get this very patronizing rhetoric from. These, from the virtue signaling people of the world, right? They will say, you know, we, so I, you know, say your typical person is someone on Twitter, you know, a very privileged person. Um, often they'll be white, often they'll be upper middle class, middle class, upper middle class, um, you know, well spoken, have a, have a degree in something useless. You know, often, often, and these people. Um, will speak out against homophobia, speak out against um, exclusion, um, against any 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 type of um, prejudice, any you know any type of prejudice uh, that they don't like. Um, that is bad. In the book, it says bad. This is bad. All right, that's bad. I don't like it. Um, but when they see it come from one of the groups, you know, one of the groups. The oppressed groups, the people they're supposed to be back in, the people they're supposed to be, the the voice. We are the white knights. We are the voice for these people, the people that cannot speak out. We speak for you. We stand with you. And when certain groups um, display a hell of a lot of rhetoric that goes against what they believe, they remain silent about it. This is problematic. But the fact is, it's, it's not problematic because because they don't want to offend them well they part of it is they don't want to offend them because they're scared the, the, the fact is is that they think they are beneath them now what do I mean by this it's like it's okay for them to do it because they're not quite they're not us are they they know no better like their children like their kids kids don't know no better they haven't quite learned about the social boundaries of things they're just still exploring you know, kids will do weird shit and then go, oh, okay, that's that then. You know, they're, they're always discovering. Always, always, every day is, every day is amazing when you're a kid because it's a new discovery going, well, I didn't know I could, I didn't know I could, couldn't say that. You know, after you get punched in the face, I didn't know I couldn't say that. Huh. Oh, fancy that. So that's how they look at them. They'll go, oh, you know, oh, you know, if it's, if it was a, uh, you know, your, your, your typical enemy, the enemy of them. 
you know, the straight white male or something. I hate using these sort of these um, examples, but uh, well, why not? He's there going, shame on you, shame on you, this is disgusting, blah, blah, blah. I mean, the outrage would be, you know. They would say, this is typical of that person. This is what we expect from that person, blah, blah, blah. But with this, they'll go, oh, well, this, I do not think this represents the entire community. And this is just one person saying it and blah, 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 blah. But if it's someone from another side, they'll say, this is all of them, right? They, the, vegans do this as well. They'll say, oh, you know. They'll, they'll talk about, you know, they'll be very pro-developing third world people, um, you know, and their cultures. Oh, we respect the beautiful, all cultures are beautiful, and it's, you know, this is a culture. We do not like the practices that are of, um, you know, inf inflicting pain and torture upon animals just so we can have some cheap meat. Um, but when other nations are doing it, saying, oh, yeah, but they, I just wish they'd know, but they don't know yet because it's hard for them. It's hard for them. They don't know any better. They don't know any better. That's what they like. They like, they don't know no better. You know, and one day, hopefully, they'll understand the pain and suffering of animals, but it's hard for them. So, you know, they get a pass. No one gets a fucking pass. This thing called ignorance of the law. Now, I've discovered this a long time ago. When you say that if you get arrested for something, say, well, I didn't know I couldn't do that. There's no such thing as ignorance of the law. The law is the law. Okay. You know, you could be, you know, 12 years old and you think, oh, I'm just carrying a knife around with me. And then you get arrested. And you're like, I didn't know I couldn't carry a knife around with me. All right. Well, that's your fucking problem. You're arrested. And there you go. No such thing as ignorance of the law. You know, if you don't know the if you don't know about the pain you're inflicting upon someone, you don't realise it. So, oh, I didn't know. I didn't know that was so horrible. What I was doing, I didn't realise that was wrong. If you don't know, if you don't know no better. You don't really get a pass on it. Do you understand what I'm saying? So the fact is that if someone is out there spouting off homophobic shit in the street, right? You don't get a pass, but they'll give them a pass. Why? Because these people that that often think they're doing these the do-gooders, they're just people in a very transparent racist closet. There's no other way to have it. You'll get people that are prejudiced. People who attack these Muslims and say, "Oh yeah, they're like this and they do that." They are prejudiced people. Why are they prejudiced? Because they've been given something's been pumped into their brain. Someone's being pumped into their brain that makes them think they're all like this. You know, they're homophobic. They, they, they dis, you know, they, they're um, misogynistic. And they oppress women. They're terrorist sympathizers, you know. They, 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 they're cousin kissing inbreds. All kinds of shit pumped into their brains that makes them think all of these people are that. The prejudices. That's one thing. So you get a lot of prejudice. But on the other hand, you get these motherfuckers who think they're better than them so they won't call them out and say oh well, well they not know no better we must respect their culture that's them and you know one day they'll realize probably i just wish they'd know now i just wish they knew but they don't know that's racism that's actual racism because that means you think you're superior to them you think your opinion your worldview and your belief system is superior to theirs they're just not on your level yet how is that any different to the mindset of people who enslave different people and said, well, you know, well, they're subhuman. They're not, they aren't as advanced as us. We're not going to call, oh, look at them doing that. <laughs> well, they don't know no better, do they? Look at him trying to use a spoon. <laughs> what an idiot. It's no different. How is it different? You sat there in your transparent racist closet looking down your nose at people. And just going, oh, look at that. You know, that's the fucking difference to all this shit. These people do this, you know. You know, you, you, you get out some firebrand, you know, headstrong, modern feminist, okay, and say to them, you know, show them a Motley Crue video from the 80s or something, objectifying women. You know, this white woman. Say, hey, white woman, what do you think about this shit? Oh, it's appalling. Oh, look at this misogynistic, straight white male. Blah, blah, blah. You know. And then you get a music video by, like, I don't know, 
anyone that's black. Something African. How about something from West Africa? Mm, Jamaican. Girls bounce their asses. Have you seen them, like, seen what they do to women at some of them dance hall concerts? Have you seen that shit? You know what I'm saying? Show them that. Okay. So what do you think about that? Oh, well, you know, that's their culture. and Who am I to judge? I'm just a white woman. Do you see what I'm saying? I know it's not the greatest example right now. I'm running out of steam, okay? But these are the kind of things that you get with these people. And they're sat there as if people can't see it, as if we don't see it. Like, Malcolm X talked about this in the 60s, about these, these fucking liberals and shit, like, with their agenda. You know, the secret, they're snakes. Snakes. Wolf in sheep's clothing, is I think the analogy he used. He knew it. Like, how do you not see it? You see it and you go, oh, well, there you are in your transparent closet. Like, just overt racism. It's it's crazy to me. And I'm like, what, how, how is no, no one seeing what's going on here? What, what are these racist motherfuckers? That's just something I have a point I wanted to make. Daily Mail and all this shit um, pumps prejudice into you. And, uh, other outlets say it came from The Guardian, The Independent. Pumps racism into you. It really does. Actual racism. Totally, it's two different things: prejudice and racism. We could talk about this story if you want. I mean, why not? It happened, didn't it? I mean, that's probably why you clicked on this anyway. But you know, I just wanted to enlighten you. So, Muslim woman wearing niqab shouts, "Blah blah 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 blah." The Walthamstow arm of the Metropolitan Police said officers are investigating and branded the abuse that they hate crime. It's like, oh, hey, look, going around shouting at people because of the way they are is. Um, I mean, I hate, I hate crime. I don't know. I don't know. Well, she's just shouting, shouting abuse, you know. Because there's certain things you can shout at certain people that won't be labelled a hate crime. This is why I've never understood. You know, there's a thing called police prejudice. Do you know what I mean? Is that you can actually there's a specific hate crime against police, which I always thought was a bit weird. It's like what? There's a hate crime against police? Really, the people that are supposed to protect you? I always found I've never liked that. So I, don't, I ain't gonna get into the. You know, we are aware of footage circulating on social media of abuse directed at those taking part in the Wolfham Forest Pride event. And inquiries are underway. Abusing someone because of their sexual orientation or gender identity is a hate crime. Yeah, abusing them. Yeah, you know, she's just shouting. I mean, people, there's crazy people shout. It's London, mate. There's fucking crazy people shouting every day. If you have been verbally or physically abused, harassed or attacked in any way by someone because you are or they think you are LGBT+, plus, please report these crimes to the police or through a third party agency. Some 48% of Wolfram So residents are from a minority ethnic background and 22% are Muslim. Here you go, there's the Daily Mail putting in the facts that you need to know. <laughs> the knee wearing woman film screaming, shame on you to a man draped in LGBT rainbow flag during the rally. On Ho Street. <laughs> so I just love the fact it's on Ho Street. <laughs> it makes it so good. She screeches. Screeches, you know. Screech. Like she's a banshee. God made Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Are you sure this is a, are you sure this is an actual... Like, she, she must be... <laughs> she must be cockney born and bred, surely. Like. <laughs> it's just... That's the sort of thing you hear from like an old white woman, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> that typically, Adam and Steve. <laughs> She's clearly lived in Walthamstow her entire life. While a marshal in a high-vis jacket moves in to shield the clearly shaken pride marcher, a video was shared on Twitter by Yusuf Patel who wrote, discussing homophobic abuse at those on Waltham Forest Pride today. Well, you know, if you're gonna be around showing your pride, why be scared of some nutter? Like, isn't that whole thing about pride? It's like, I am proud, you know. I, I have no shame in what I do. I have no shame in who I am, and therefore, fuck you. Isn't that the whole point? You know, sock it to him. You know, you just got your dick out. That's what I was doing. Just get your dick out and fucking go, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you Definitely should have got your dick out. No matter what form hate comes in, we must stamp it out and say no to all forms of hate. I would shut up with that shit. I hate that shit. I hate, look, everyone hates something, right? It's okay to hate. It's okay to, to hate something. Like, it's perfectly, it's a natural 
it's, it's a natural emotion it's a natural way of being is to be hateful to hate you know what I'm saying also very importantly we cannot call out one form of hate but we silent but but be silent complicit on others it's true the confrontation also sparked fury among locals who have hit out at the abusive Muslim woman also MP Stella Creasy condemned the homophobic rant as hatred. She tweeted, Got to see this and clear such hatred isn't acceptable anywhere, let alone in our hometown. Proud that many from all faiths and none today, including Islam, joined the Waltham Forest Pride March to show Waltham Stowe really does mean welcome. I mean, the stuff said about that is like, you know, you, you get these isolated incidents. One nutty woman decides she doesn't like seeing a bunch of you know, bunch of benders <laughs> I said that to cause a reaction okay, I'm an edgy guy that's what I do, but seriously well, one, one woman who was like, well, I don't like seeing this on my doorstep, that's like you know wanted to vocalise her opinion and that's all she did and now it's a big deal because uh, there's a video going around of it. It's like there's nutters every day, you know. It's like if you get one, up, you know, you, it's London, mate. You always bump into someone who's got a problem with something. Always. Do you know what I mean? I remember some woman, old Jamaican bird, batshit crazy on a bus. Like, um, there's two like Somali boys, and she was just there going. I mean, she clearly was schizophrenic or something, and she was there going, terrorist man. <laughs> Terrorist man, Pff, I got a hellfire, you know, terrorist man, Fuh. me gun, me shoot them, you know, <laughs> just ranting on these two smiley boys, and they were just pissing us, like, going, what the fuck is that, bro, I'm like, oh, she's crazy, and it's like, oh, it's a bus in London, all right, yeah, but, you know, that's just something that happens daily, there's always some nutter, but the thing is, when you start video, you video it, and you put it online, everyone shares it, oh, look at this horrible thing that happened, it's a daily occurrence of just nutters, someone who's just had a bad day, this woman, God knows, maybe she's got some shitty kids. She's got some snotty little kids. Let's say she's got some snotty. This is, is an example. She's got some snotty kids and they've really wound her up. She's put them off school like, fucking my kids are so disres mad disrespectful little shits they are. I work so hard. Do you know what I mean? Put, fucking provide for these little pricks. Ah, fucking disrespectful little pricks. And then you're walking past, and you don't, you know, you're not a big fan of the gays. And you're walking past, there's all these people going, woo ah, hoo, hoo, with all their fucking flamboyant shit going on, wigging their asses, going, oh, I'm gay and I'm proud. And, you know, you fucking, uh, I fucking hate my kids, but I hate, right, no, not today. Not today. And someone's, you know, bumped into you already and not said sorry. And like, why do you, why couldn't you just fucking say sorry? And then you see a bunch of gays and they're like, well, I really don't like their lifestyle. Right, I'm going to let them have, today they're going to have it. Not today. That is living in a multicultural society with many different faces. People clash. People are all boxed in. And everyone has to sort of coexist with each other. And some people just snap. Like, and that's London, man. It's a big city. There's always see a nutter. Do you know what I mean? You can't define... You, and unfortunately, we live in an age now where one video just gets taken and go, this is how it is. This is how it is. You get it with all sides, you know. You get one fucking racist old white man. It's a standard thing you see in London as an old racist white man. The standard thing you see is an old crazy Jamaican or an old crazy African. It happens all the time. Regular occurrence. Walk around Brixton. Although I don't know how gentrified Brixton has got. I haven't been to Brixton for quite a while, so I don't know how bad it is these days. But <laughs> there's always some nutter in there's always a nutter in Brixton. Brixton always attracted. Just the nutters. You know, people with their megaphones going, repent, repent, faggots, repent, like something like that. Like, and you're like, what? Shut calm the fuck down, would you? You nutter. Always a nutter. There's always a nutter. And if you wanna, if you wanna, like, you know, what what does what does this say about anything, really? How is it, what is this news? London has someone who's angry today. You know, we know that there's. We know. Look, we all know. There's the elephant in the room. Is there's there's elements of all different cultures that don't that don't gel. With um, with the with the with the whole mindset of the UK, that's a fact. Like, it's it's either what do you want to do about it? Do we, you know, do we? And it's a major city as well. It's like, what do you want? What do you actually want? Do you want everyone 
to assimilate? Or do you want everyone to assimilate how you want them to assimilate? What I'm saying is, you know, oh, we, we must respect all their cultures, but not the bits we don't like. You either have to accept all of it, or none of it. You either have to tell them, you toe the fucking line, you do it this way, or none of it. Because I tell you what, in other countries, they don't have it. They just wouldn't have it. They will not have it. They were like, no, motherfucker. You see this, like, when you go to other countries, and when they're like, there's certain things you can't do. And they're very, they're blatant about it. You know, they're in their face going, no, nah, you're a foreigner, mate, you can't do that. Yeah. Oh, how much is it for? All right. They'll charge them one thing, and they'll look at you going, oh, hello, whitey. Or hello, Western man, usually. Or, or these days, you know, you've got, got a lot of rich Chinese and Indians out in Thailand at the moment. And they know this. They go, oh, hang on, you've got money now. Right, you. No, it's, no, it's, it's double for you, cunt. Well, they won't say it like that, because they're very nice people. But, you know, it's, it's a fact. It's like, all right, you're, you're a fucking, you're a foreigner. You've got to tie the line, and you've got to pay a bit extra. And they don't care. Because cause they do, because they say, well, you're in our country. But, but in, the, in the West especially, we've got this sort of, this mindset of, um, you know, oh, we have to be welcoming and welcoming of everything, which means that you have to welcome everything. Oh, but then you sometimes you well, you spit your dummy out and go, oh no, but we didn't mean that. You have to if you want to be all welcoming. You know, you're gonna have to be intolerant. You're gonna have to be tolerant of people's intolerances. I've said this before. Be tolerant of their intolerances. There's a you know, clearly a woman who wears the hub is a very dedicated Muslim. You know, and there are people that follow that, follow religious texts to the very, to the very letter, follow it all the way. They're hardcore on it. So what do you want? You know, what do you want? How do you want it to be? <clears throat> how do you want it to be? And at the same time, it's just it's another isolated little incident that, gets, that has to be used as news. You know, if it does stir up the debate, I suppose. You know, there's the debate to happen, isn't there? Oh, we need this debate. You know. And that's all. That's all I really want to say on the matter for now. I'm sure another story will happen. I'll have more to say. That's the, that's the beauty of wake up after waking up in the morning. Isn't it?